My new coat arrives today. That was gay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something really manly now. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever done. <laughs> I'm glad I missed that. I've seen you do worse. Okay, yeah, to be fair, I have done worse. Friday afternoon bar time because I've been having anxiety attacks. Oh no, something might happen. Grow up. Although I'd let Maya Jammer piss on me for sport. Yeah, I probably would as well, actually. You know, I pissed on Emily on one of our first ever dates. I took her to a gym on a free guest pass and we went in the outside swimming pool. Nice blue lit underneath. We were the only ones out there. And she had her legs wrapped around me. Fortunately, we were in water, so the buoyancy allowed me to actually carry the fat sack of piss. And, um, and I urinated in the swimming pool. And she was like, oh my god. <laughs> Been together for two weeks. Brilliant. That moment she knew you were the one. The one. Dumb and full of cum. So it sounds like you were doing everything to turn her off and she still stayed. Would you not, Jack? I'm a catch. That's the test, isn't it? If you don't love me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Wait, you're, you're asking me when I come into my office first thing in the morning, how cold is it? It's not, because I keep my underfloor heating set to 35 degrees Celsius. <laughs> it's warm as fuck. <laughs> Called it. I was just checking if that was the case, yeah. That's why I'm, I'm, not, I'm wearing a stringer, it's not ice cold in there. When me and my mate were 13, some older man paid us to jump on his stomach and chest from elevated surfaces for money. Once we got a bonus for breaking a few ribs and such. Obviously, it was a nonce. Not that we were aware. Luckily, our parents found out before he did worse things. Jesus Christ. How much money did you make? Now you're about to be a doctor. Yeah, his first case is fixing this cunt's ribs. Story police are at the door. Have you? Did you not have one of those people in your hick Canadian town? There was a bloke like that where I live as well, and he used to get people to spit on him. And you, there was a bloke up the local shopping centre that would hang around at the market, and you spit on him for twenty quid. I didn't do it. How's your new year been? Really good, Jess. How has yours been? Off the nicotine. What? Off the nicotine. Suss this. Fucking gorgeous, gorgeous nicotine. <sighs> I was thinking about this, right? <clears throat> and if there's any... Uh, <laughs> anyone qualified to talk on the matter, please, please do let me know that I'm absolutely wrong. You know you increase your cardiovascular capacity or ability by increasing and decreasing your heart rate, right? You know, going for a run, doing exercise, etc. <clears throat> when you consume nicotine or cocaine, your heart rate goes up. So instead of going for a run, does that work? No. Fuck! Have you ever seen a fat coke addict? Yes. <laughs> My mate Luke. <laughs> Hanny, this is a bit of a personal question, but have you ever, like, gone to bed and got scared that when you fall asleep, you're gonna accidentally roll over and suffocate on one of your fat tits? Why has that man just said, well played to me? Oh, he said wrong, was it wrong person? Oh, he called me a canker whore. Oh. <laughs> Do you know who my least favourite Dragon Ball character is? Krillin. Bald little pussy. Backseater as well. Mate, I hate him so much. He constantly gets protected by his mates, primarily Goku. And he always just sits in the background going, Oh my god, no Goku, don't do that, that's a terrible move. 
Shut the fuck up, you bald. Does anyone else have a missus in here that shaves their ass regularly? And when they fart, it's... It just sounds... I don't know. I don't know what it... It just sounds like a rippling... Oh, I don't... I, I don't know what it is. But it, it, it angers me. It's the first thing I hear in the morning. Emily gets up and farts. And it sounds like two sumo wrestlers colliding. I don't understand. And I was like, for f she did it this morning. I went, for fuck's sake. She went downstairs, right? She walked out of the bedroom, down the hallway, down the stairs, into the kitchen. And I heard another one. How the fuck is it that loud? She must have tight cheeks. She does. Oof. She's got a big batty on her, mate. <laughs> Fucking arse of the gods. Sorry. I think I've heard my girlfriend of six years fart twice. For fire making, leveling at Windsor Todd, do you have to knife the kindlings? Listen up, virgin. We're talking about women farting. I also don't fart in front of her. I think it's grim. I have a mate that goes mental at you if you burp or fart in his vicinity. Pathetic. He's been with his girlfriend for six years. And I was like, have you ever heard your missus plopping in the toilet? And he was like, don't be ridiculous. I run the shower. Any time one of them goes to the toilet, they run the shower. Don't be bloody absurd. Of course not. Does he actually sound like that? Yeah. I would sit with my missus while she was shitting. Yeah, that's a bit far. Emily does that to me sometimes. She, she wants to tell me something or talk to me about something while I'm taking a shit. Which is like my safe space. It's little, my little safe space going to the toilet for a poo. And she just walks in leans on the door frame and starts chatting and i'm like can you fuck off can this not wait 10 minutes i'm trying to i'm trying to relax here Chat i don't even like her talking through the door while i'm taking a shit just don't talk to me leave me alone let me look at my instagram reels is everyone in here a porn addict reporting for duty absolutely yeah more so lately it's a bit mad isn't it the old porn Clean seven years. You save it for the missus. I'll grow up. I think about doing that. And then I think, actually, nah. It's just so much easier to sit on the bed and have a wank. It's just a means to an end, isn't it? The results are all the same. It's just the journey's different, really. The same thing's gonna happen. If I have sex with my missus or if I have a wank... At the end of the day, I'm going to look at her and still not love her after. <laughs> Surely this guy gets sm there Why has he ran that way? I cannot believe it. Oh. Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. I'd have just lost 211 mil. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh fucking hell, I need a breather. Did he max with the Void Waker as well? Thank god I triple eight. Imagine if I didn't triple eight, I was dead. I. Fuck me. <sighs> By the way, yeah, go on. I'm selling a bunch of clothes. Okay. Do you want first go at some of my Supreme shit or do you not care? Um, 
Well, the problem is, Lars, is I'm six foot one and you're four foot eleven. All right, man. <laughs> it is the NHS. Wait, wait, if they've given me an appointment that quick, do you reckon I've got cancer? There's no way they're... Shit. That must be quite serious. Now, I shit just isn't very backed up. Yeah, I did ask my optometrist if I had cancer, and she said no. So I'd be a bit pissed off if she was lying to me. Although she was very fit, so I'd probably let it slide. She could be my make-a-wish. BASH! And also, changing your mouse settings to my mouse settings aren't going to make you be able to click like me. I'm an incredibly talented, handsome gamer and you're a retailer. Um, I hope nobody saw that. Oh. Oh, I thought it was dead. I'm ticky there, can I? I don't know. Probably not. Oh, my, mate, what am I doing? I'm having an, I'm having a meltdown. Mate, I'm having a meltdown. Just fucking die. I've dribbled. Jesus fucking Christ. I think... He might have another spec left, actually. I need to be careful here. Fair play. Good fight. <laughs> I died. I don't care that she's a fat, horrible bitch. I'd still throat fuck.